Let's see. This Friday, my next guest returns for the first time in nearly a decade in brand new editions of her hit series, Heart to Heart. Were you all Heart to Heart fans? Yes. Yeah. Let me see if I can age you. Uh, how about Girl from Uncle? Oh, don't clap. My, my crowd's supposed to be young. Yeah. Please welcome Stephanie Powers. I know where I have to start this. Where? I think you got married since I last saw you. Yes, I did. I got married in April, April Fool's Day. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank and you. who chose that day? It just, unfortunately, it happened to fall on that day, but uh, why not? Yeah, OK. Um, who's the guy? What's he like? He's French, and. Um... Oh, so we know. <laughs> no, we don't. And he's, n he's not in, our, in uh, the entertainment world. How did so, you meet him? Uh, that keeps me rather centered. I I mean, did you travel and meet him, or was he here? No, I, I met him when I was in England doing a musical. Uh, I, a couple of years ago, I did a musical play in London, in the West End. And uh, through some mutual friends, because of the game of polo, uh, because I, I play polo and I ride horses, and so does he. And uh, so We sort of uh, kind of got our horses together, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I bet you're relieved, you know? Every time I've come on here uh, before, I always bring an animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I thought, I'm oh, not good with animals, man, you know? know? It either bites you or pees on your nice clothes. <laughs> yes, it's good for ratings, but awful for silk. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, let, let's talk about, well, first of all, no, let's talk about Heart to Heart. Um, when the show went off, what was the reason? Well, it was, a, it was a rather sad story for us because um, um, we were preparing to do our sixth season. We were, we were deliriously happy with the show. We love and have always loved working together, RJ and Lionel, and we had a wonderful dog. Um, and we had absolutely no idea that uh, ABC was less enchanted with us than we were with ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we were uh, preparing to do the sixth season. I was in uh, Paris doing uh, a miniseries called Mistral's Daughter, and uh, it was the Sunday night before the Monday night uh, that ABC was going to announce the fall lineup. Mm -hmm. And um, I got a telephone call from RJ uh, saying we were not on it, which was really uh, shocking and hurtful. And, and we always felt ter terribly frustrated because we wanted to put a period at the end of the sentence. And, and for a while, RJ tried to went to New York and tried to place the show uh, at other networks, and it, it didn't work. And then, of course, we went on to uh, carry on with our own lives and our own careers and uh, got a bit separated. And there were several uh, opportunities that people offered us to come back and do maybe one show. Right. And we thought that we'd rather do something a little bit more extended. And when NBC offered us the opportunity to do four two-hour movies. We thought that would just be great. So um, we'll see, fingers crossed, uh, Friday night at 9. Absolutely. Um, you have a clip. Let's, let's look at it. What, what's in this clip? Oh, this is, uh, this is just a little bit of fun for everyone. This is the real heart-to-heart. -heart. This is uh, romance and love and uh, all those good things that we've forgotten about a little bit on TV. We should talk about that, too, but let's look at the clip. We'll be... But it's the middle of the night. Oh, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Oh, I want to do it. And now? Well, you know we can only do it when Max is asleep. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Heel. Please, Junior, heal. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Heal. Heal. Hey, that a good dog. Sit. Sit. Good dog. We'll be right back with more Stephanie Powers.
You mentioned something about what's missing on television now. Well, you know, uh, the interesting thing that happens after a television show goes off the air is that suddenly you hear, um, as you travel around or meet people, you hear really uh, how much it meant to people. And Heart to Heart was syndicated in 87 countries, and uh, so as one traveled around the world, you know, you, you really began to see the impression that it left on people. And I remember, I remember having a, a, a just a chance encounter, probably in some place glamorous like the supermarket, with somebody who had started watching the show when they were 10 years old, mm -hmm. and it was several years afterwards. So they were in their late teens, and they were beginning, you know, to really look for a, a relationship. And they said that they had really thought that heart to heart set a certain standard for a relationship, which was very flattering because when we began the show in the late 1970s, we really wanted to create a kind of couple that never had to qualify itself. Uh, these were two adults that chose to be together because they loved each other and because they respected their differences as well as their similarities. And they didn't have to argue about things in a way that was kind of uh, deprecating to, to one or the other. They didn't have to destroy the other one in order to win the, the moment. Mm -hmm. They could discuss it. Mm -hmm. And they could laugh at each other, at themselves and together. And the bond that they had was really that their priority was their relationship and, and their sharing their lives. And it kind of sends an awful lot of the right sort of messages. And I think it's kind of the messages that we maybe have gotten a little bit away from. And I think people feel disenfranchised a bit because we're not seeing a little bit more of that. Yeah. Other than this show, what do you watch on television? <laughs> you know what? Oh, I'm a fr you know, I'm a wildlife freak, so I, uh, I watch documentaries mostly. And I'm, I'm getting involved in, uh, in actually producing one, mm -hmm. a series of documentaries, because we have this education center at the William Holden Wildlife Foundation in Kenya. And this year, we will be serving about 10,000 students coming through our doors, which is an overwhelming amount of people, if you think about it, at least the ripple effect of all of that exposure. And we've really found it very difficult to find the kind of documentary film which would bring human beings in, in contact with the issue by explaining uh, cause and effect from the point of view of, of, of the human experience. We don't really... I mean, we, we, Let's say that, let's just talk about this, uh, this fire. It's a horrifying experience. I've lived through three of them. I used to be a Malibu resident. Mm -hmm. I lived through the great big one. The day we started filming the pilot of Heart to Heart in 1978, the big fire started in Mandeville Canyon, right at our location where we were filming. And I wound up that night fighting the fire in, at my house, which was up near Paradise Cove. The loss to human possessions and all, is absolutely horrifying. And there is nothing that can, con uh, that can console people about that loss. But if you think about the loss to habitat and wildlife, you cannot calculate the amount of animals that have been lost. Because that entire area was a wildlife refuge. Absolutely. If Mr. Holden can see from heaven, he must be really proud of the way you've continued the mission. A Heart to Heart returns uh, tomorrow night, 9 o'clock PM, NBC. I'm sorry, sorry to rush, but I'm being rushed. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Powers, check him out. <laughs>